if you don't have a buy bid I can go ahead and sign for buy sign up for buy bid because I do. I if I come to to coin market cap here you will see that the lowest if I come to derivative trading basically this is for those who will be trading fish as I said but if you don't do it this way you will end up it's like bamboo the walk Abby monkey the walk bamboo the chop that is how the saying goes right you work and trade, and at the end of the day, every the exchange is collecting the whole thing as fee. So you will not be able to, it's if you come in here to buy B, buy B, you see that for taker, I, I hope you understand what maker fee and taker fees are. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, uh -huh. So if you use a limit order to People that want to buy on the market price and those people that want to buy on the limit They pay price. higher. Yeah, those who buy on the market price pay higher fee, and those who buy on limit price pay lower fee. Fee. Exactly. So your take profit is always on limit order. So you are going to be paying lower fee. But when you are entering the market, in most cases you enter with the market price, so you pay higher fee. So you see that the yeah. maker fee here is zero minus zero point zero two five. Why the take up is minus at zero point um, zero seven five. So sign up for buy bid for those of you who will be doing fishers because buy bid you cannot use prime board on buy bid. It's only for those who will be doing yes, fishers yeah. and the rest. So go ahead and sign up yeah. for that, and you will definitely be benefiting from it as well. So if you don't have a buy bit account, I will leave Thank a link. You, Mr. I will leave a link in the description. I, I register. I, I sign up. I use your link on buy bit already. I'm yeah, as, as a already. new sign up, if you make deposit, you get twenty. I think uh, up to twenty dollars, depending on the amount you are depositing. So um, if you if you make your first deposit, you can get up to twenty dollars worth of USDT for free. So for all of you who will be signing up, you can get between, I think, $10 to about $3,000, depending on the amount of money you are going to deposit as your first deposit. deposit. Yeah, so yeah. it must not be once. If you deposit today, deposit tomorrow, I think they give you a period of about, uh, uh, yeah, up to a week or there about. Yeah, there's a period, the duration they give you that you can use to deposit. If you meet all those criteria, at the end of the day, the money is credited to your account. Sir. The account. Yes, so, thank you so much. Yes, so if you don't have a buy bid account, there is a link in the chat. You can sign up for yeah. buy bid. Yeah. So fees are what you should thank consider you. when you are using some of these exchanges. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You have a point, very good point. All right. I understand your information. Thank you, sir. Uh, a friend sent this to me yesterday, and uh, I guess at the point he was confused. So I want you all to, if you are in this meeting, just look at this. If you can see, this is where I actually want you to focus on this downside from, this is where, let me draw, map this out for you to see. So where I want you to focus on is where it says P and L from this BTC USDT perpetual down, this is where I want you to focus on. Please look at it critically and tell me, somebody should just unmute his or herself and tell me what you understand. This is a features trading. Tell me what you understand on this. How much did it cause this person to open this position? And uh, how much is the uh, current profit and the rest? So can you just um, tell me, analyze this, uh, this trade and let me know what you think? Who can try? What, what do you understand by what is here right now? Can you explain this? Anybody? Those of you who want to trade futures, you, you cannot explain this. Try, 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 try. Somebody should try. Okay, hello? Yeah, go ahead. Hello? Go ahead. Can you hear me? If you can hear okay. me. Okay, um, so what I'm seeing. Is... Yeah. Okay, so what I'm seeing here. Is... Price is for three pounds, then the market price is 42, and then the entry price was 42,731. Uh, 42, okay, imagine the margin there is 0 0.55, 0 0.5 cents. So, what, what, what is the margin? Can you explain so, that Ma margin? Can you explain what that margin is? Um. Okay. The margin. The the 
like just like just the average the margins just look like the average the average uh, percentage that is where he bought it and the current price okay okay that, that that is a very good one now um i think what the mistake that he actually did which i want to actually let us know here for those of you who be trading futures you know um but before i analyze this let me you bring a calculator remember let me say this person traded btc usdt hmm? and the margin that uh, he's trading is isolated margin and the number of leverage he's using is what 75x on isolated margin trading what btc yeah. perpetual and the entry price was what 42700 and as at the time he sent this screenshot the market price was this 42300 which means that he would have been making a lot of profit at this instance but no because he mistake this margin for this you understand yes. this is what it cost him to open this trade this 55 cents and because he's using 75x, if, if not that he's using 75x, ordinarily it would have cost him 42 USDT to enter this trade. But because he's using 75x, this is what it cost him, 55 cents. So if he has used 42 as his margin, then this profit would have been something very reasonable. And I will show you why I say that by using the uh, market calculator here. Let us bring our calculator out. And here on the calculator, remember that he entered the market at 47, 42,731. So if I come in here oh. and we want to learn the market and we are using, let's use 75X as our leverage. Let me just type 75X here. And then the quantity is what I didn't see here. The quantity was what I didn't see. I think uh, the screen did not capture that. The quantity of the BTC actually is what I didn't see here. Um, but let's calculate what will cost us 50, 40, uh, 42 cents, for instance. That is what we want to get the calculation for. So let me just assume that it's 0 0.004. And then the entry price was 42,731. And then the current price as I read the screenshot was sent is 42,337. So 42, 42,337. So this is long. No, no, it's actually short, sorry. So we go to it's short. short. It's short. It's yeah. Short. So the initial margin is um, two point, but what he did was uh, 55 cents. So let's look for 55 cents. If I add another zero here and I add three, okay, let me add five, six, seven, eight, um, nine. All right, let me work with uh, this. Let me work with um, 0 0.309. Let's assume this is what it cost him to enter the market. So this is what he would have made. But what if it has cost him this 42 cents you are seeing here to enter the market? At this instance, this is the amount she would have made. So that 42 cents, let's assume 42 cents would have been 0 0.03. This is $17. They would have cost you $17. Even if, okay, let's assume that it was $17. It means that at this price, this person would have been making $11. So if you have entered with uh, 0.5, that would have cost you $28 and you would have been making at that current price, you send that screenshot, $11. If you make it 0 0.07, that would have cost you $39, and you would have been making $27 or 27 USD. That is, if his assumption, according to his assumption, he has entered this market with 42 cents. At this instance, you would have made this amount of money that you're seeing there, about $27 at that instance yeah. at the moment. So if you have gotten, you know, just since you took a higher leverage, if you have gone higher by using 0 0.09, that would have cost you 51 cents and you would have made $25 at, at the time they sent this screenshot. So that is one thing I want us to understand. The size is always 
uh, when you see this size in USDT, whether it is in USDT in, or in Bitcoin, uh, what the exchange is simply telling you is that this is what it would have cost you if not that you were using, if not that you were using leverage, it would have cost you this to open that position at that instant. But because you are using leverage, instead of costing you this, it is costing you this. So because it is 55 cents, you see that the percentage here is about 69 plus 69 percent, and you're only making 39 cents. So this is one thing I want us to understand when you are opening a trade, the size is different from the margin. The margin is how much it is costing you to enter that market. So in this case, if you are liquidated, just like they say, a liquidation price is 43,100. If you are liquidated at 43,100, it means because you are using isolated, you will only lose 55 cents. I hope we all get this. So that is just what I wanted to, this is because when I saw it yesterday, I was like, oh, you would have made plenty of money at this instance since the assumption was your, you know, your entering, you know, it's costing you $42 at the rest. So you would have made uh, about $20 at that instance when you send this screenshot. So just take note of this. Um, if you are using the slider percentage to enter the market, make sure when you click on, for instance, if I come here to Bitcoin, Bitcoin uh, buy bit, it's the same thing. If it is Binance, it will equally prompt you. If it is okay, it will prompt you. If I want to use 10% of my, um, let's say I want to enter with the market price, or let me go ahead and use limit and put the price here, for instance. If I want to enter the market at this price, and I want to use 10% of my balance, and I go ahead and click on open law. When I click on open law, except you have canceled this, if I check on this where it says do not show confirmation window anymore, that is when you will not see this. So it will just go straight and place a trade. But don't check this, leave it on, so that you always read the summary of the market you are entering before you close the trade. So where it says, here it will tell you this is where you are entering the market, this is the quantity it is costing you, and that the, this quantity in BTC will cost you 83 in USDT. In that case, the volume of what you'll be trading is this, you know, the other value, which is what this 83 would have cost us, depending on the number of leverage you're using. And then your estimation, uh, estimated liquidation price, everything we show you, you can now go ahead and click on confirm. So it is common with every exchange. Once you click on confirm, the order can either go in directly or be pending. So this is one thing I want us to get right in this meeting. And um, I don't know if I should proceed or we'll just end it here and uh, continue on Monday. Should I proceed? I, 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 but I believe we all understood this that I've shared here. So if you understand this very well, please, whenever you want to open, when next you want to open your futures trading app, when you want, whenever you want to open futures trading, Please take note of all of these uh, things that are here. You entered with this amount of leverage using isolated margin. This is your current profit. If it is showing red, it means that it is what you are losing at that moment. You understand? Then if it is showing red, your uh, arrow OE here will be um, actually showing red as well. In this case, it will be showing minus this percentage here. And then if it is plus this, it means that this percentage is what you're making. And the profit will be based on your margin. The profit will be based on the amount of margin you are using. If we all understood that, I believe next time when you want to take a future trade, you will definitely profit from it, right? All right, so with that being said, um, should I continue or we should just end the meeting here? Okay. Um, please, uh, you are, when you are entering the spread, when you are entering the future spread, is, you know, normally the margin, I'm not sure if the margin is visible. It's when you have already set the spread. That's when the margin, it will show on your open position. Yes, that is what I'm saying here now. If, if, or, if, if, if now, that is why I yes. actually show this example. If I go ahead and let's say I want to long or short this market, the exchange will always prompt you with the summary of your trade. This is the summary of this trade that I want to enter here. So here, the margin, you don't know how much it will cost you, but here you will not know that, okay, your entering price will, you know, your other price, let me open that again, your other price will be this. And then your entering price, 
So your order price is this. This is what it will cost you in BTC because it's BTC we are trading. And then in USDT, it will cost you $83. This becomes your margin. You understand? You will always see okay. this summary. You will always see this summary before. If I now confirm this, that is when this trade will be placed. But if I don't confirm this, I'll just go ahead and cancel it. So by before confirming this, you will come in here. Then if I if I don't like this and I want to, uh, let's say, I just go ahead and cancel it and then come back here. Since I'm using 10%, it's going to cost me 83. If I use 25%, how much will wow. it cost me? I will open again. And then with 25%, instead of costing me 83, it will now cost me 211 USDT. Do you understand? You will always see this I summary understand. dialogue box. Yes, you always see this summary yeah, dialogue yeah, box before yeah. you enter the market. Yeah. Okay, so so let some people uh, to understand that the other cost is the same thing as the margin, right? No, 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 no. The other cost here, here on YB, the other cost is your entering price. This is what the other cost is. This is what I'm going to enter the market with. And if I enter the market, mm -hmm. this is the number of Bitcoin that I'm trading. And this number of Bitcoin will cost mm -hmm. me 211 USDT. You and understand? This Which is the margin. Ordinarily, now, this uh -huh. margin, this, this other value here is what you see here. The other value is what you see yes. here as the size. You understand? Yes. Now, this other value, ordinarily, if I'm not using leverage, it would have cost me 4,000 plus to enter this market. But because I'm using leverage, it will only cost me 211 USDT. Then here you will see your liquidation yes. price. So if I've said take profit, yes. stop loss, you will see it will tell me I'll take profit at this level, and then my stop loss will be at this level. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. Right? Okay. Sorry. Yes, 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 yes. You are right. You are right. Uh, another thing I want you to add for in case of people that are doing features like me is uh, the leverage can be adjusted. You know, the leverage can also be adjusted. I don't know if you talk on that. Also. Yeah, 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 yes. Your leverage can be adjusted when you have an ongoing trade. Yes. Yes. Now, the adjustment of your leverage varies on the exchange you are using. If you have an ongoing yeah. trade with buy with Bybit and you go ahead and adjust your leverage, automatically there is a way it will like random cancel everything and then set it to that current leverage that you set. Your liquidation price will change. Your take prof um the, I think basically what will change is your liquidation price because it will now calculate that. Yes. Let's say you are moving from 20s to 100s. Your liquidation price will now become closer. If you are not careful, you get liquidated immediately. Yes. Uh -huh. So it all depends. And there are some features that are added on the buy bid exchange where if the market is going against you, you can immediately just click that one button. It closes and open another position, like it just to reverse the market for you. It closes and open another position in a reverse manner, and you know start trading that way. But in that case, it's not doing any good because first you are closing the first position at loss, and then it is opening a new position for you. So if it goes in your in your favor, it means that you need the market needs to double times two before you can make profit because already you have lost um, someone. We will go into details on trading with my bid. I'll do a detailed video tutorials on Bybit so that you get to understand all of this thing. Because some of these things, though the interface placing this trade, some things are common, but some things are not common in all. Like when you want to close the market, when yeah. you know your uh, market types and the rest, some of these things are not common with this exchange. So you need to look at it one after the other on Binance, what it means, on Bybit, what it means, and on other exchange, what it probably means. Right? Yes. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're right. You're right. Um, so any, any other question as regards this? Yeah, thank you for this uh, very point. Um I never really understood that you can actually adjust your ongoing trade uh, leverage. I think um I think this one is another one I've learned here. If I had known that, I think I would have made uh, some <laughs> No, 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 no. The, the thing is, like the reverse order on buy bid, is not as if, let's say I've entered 
this market with this chart you are seeing is somewhere around 43,200. And then I love the market. Instead of the market going up, it came down. If I'm trading one Bitcoin, for instance, and it cost me $500 to trade that one Bitcoin. And if I just, on the chart here, you will see it. If I just click on it, it automatically closed the other one at loss. You understand? Mm -hmm. Meaning that when it started reversing, it might have been minus $10, minus $12. So it will close, I will lose that $10 and it will open yeah. a short position immediately. So when it opens a short position immediately, if it goes in your favor, you, you will not be profiting in the market. So there is an order like that, for instance, if you were here and you open a short position and the market started going up, just cancel it. And as it's going up like this, you'll be profiting and be following the market direction. I think that is the next um, stuff we need to look at uh, by the step by step on the buy bit. So we need to look at it in, maybe in our next meeting. Yes, that uh, revised feature, I think it's only in um, a banner that I've not seen. It. This uh, even bit get has that reverse uh, future, but though it's, it's not too useful to me anyway, because if you do it, you'll be losing. The, another thing I need to know is that uh, now, if you are adjusting your leverage in your ongoing trade, can you also maybe increase your your margin, US as in your, your your trading capital, increase your margin? Yes, I, I think I explained this in the previous meeting. When you increase your margin, you have the option to increase your margin, actually. When you increase your margin, what it does is that it only affects your liquidation price. That is by pushing your liquidation price further. It okay. only push your reputation price further. It doesn't just affect if, for instance, I trade, I, I demonstrated that in the rabbit. If I'm trading with $200 and then my liquidation price is somewhere close and I don't want to be liquidated, I can go ahead and add more margins to my current margin. If I make it 1000 my profit will be calculated based on the initial 200 that I entered the market. With. So okay, adding, okay. adding that margin with, now. With Adding that margin now, we only push your liquidation price further. It doesn't okay. affect your take profit and the rest. I demonstrated that in the last meeting. But your profits, profit and loss uh, uh, movement will be adjusted with the leverage. No, no, no. The profit will still be where you set it. If you take your, if your profit is forty one, it will be there. If to take your profit in forty two, it will be there. Except you go and edit it and change it, it will all be there. Okay. Yes. A any other question? All right. If there is no other question, one thing I want to let you guys know here is hello. Yes, go ahead. Someone wants to make a comment. Okay. 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 Yes, I wanted to make a comment. Okay, I wanted to make a comment like on Binance that I'm used to. On Binance that I'm used to, you can only increase your leverage. You can reduce your leverage. If you reduce your leverage, it's going to affect, like you said, in other. No, no, no. There's no even. There's no option. There's no. Affect your trade. There's no option so to reduce leverage. Not. I've not seen it in any any exchange. There is no option to reduce. Leverage yes, any in any exchange. You can only increase. You can reduce. Reduce. You can only increase the, the leverage, yeah. but you cannot reduce it. So take note of that. Yeah. Some exchange don't even allow you to. Once a trade is ongoing, you cannot increase. You cannot reduce. But yeah. for the ones I've seen, you can only increase. You can reduce. I'm sure of that. But you cannot reduce. But you can increase. Yes. Once your trade is ongoing, you cannot reduce. You can only increase. Yeah. All right, and another thing you should understand is once a trade is ongoing, whether you increase leverage or you do not increase leverage, it doesn't make any difference. So don't go and reach the account by losing it. You can end up losing everything. From the onset, have a plan. Write it down that I want to enter this market with 20 years leverage. If you enter with 20 years leverage, exit the market with 20 years leverage. There is no need of increasing leverage, adding margin. That margin you can even that additional margin you want to add because you are afraid of li being liquidated or you are afraid of hitting your stop loss. That margin you want to add, you can use that margin to actually open another trade. This is yes. one of the mistake, common mistakes that a lot of persons make. 
you're afraid of uh, the market hitting your stop loss. You're afraid of hitting liquidation. And at the end of the day, you blow off your account. So always make sure, instead of adding margin, adjusting uh, leverage and the rest, just open a different trade entirely and you'll be exactly. good to go. And Binance actually ha ha allows you in one call, you can't try that with two KS. Binance go. allows you to open a long position and a short position at the same time. If I'm trading BTC on Binance, I can open both long position and short position at the same time. But it is risky because in that case, you are not making any profit. If I open short and long position at the same time, if the market goes up, I am making 50% there and I'm losing 50% there. So you are not making any profit at all, except it will go up to a certain extent, yeah. you close that one that is in profit and then wait for it to reverse back yeah. to this other one and you close it. But all those things, yeah. I don't encourage that kind of strategy. You will end up losing, you know, you are not making any profit out of it. Because if, for instance, I open a long and short position, if I open a long and short position here, if it starts going up, my short position will be in, 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 in minus, you know, will be at loss. Then if I close this long position here, you see that at, since the market started descending, it has not come down to this previous entering price. So it has been like this, it has been on one side, meaning that that short position will still be at loss. So even when you close this in profit, you are still at loss. At the end of the day, maybe if you close this, Somewhere around there, you may be making, if you come down late, like in the middle, when you would have made $100, $200, you will be making like $10 or you know, a few dollars. So that strategy, I've seen someone who was teaching that on YouTube. I don't encourage it actually because it doesn't make sense. Once you come to the market, when you want to trade, this is a fight between two persons, the bull and the bear. So is it that the bull wins or the bear wins? or the bull loses or the bear loses you don't fight the market so when you come make sure have it at the back of your mind that this trade i want to enter i want to lose hundred dollars then if it goes against you you lose that if it goes in your favor you win but before you do that your technical analysis or whatever um, signal channel you are using you must trust it that at least it will give you 60 to 70 percent win rate Please get these things right. If you don't get it right, you you know keep putting yourself in trouble. Crypto is good though. If you know what you are doing in this space, whether you are doing spot trading or you are doing futures, it is good. And I'm emphasizing on futures because of some of you who have little account. You have hundred dollars. You want to know how much you want to make in uh, in 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 thirty days. How much will I make per day? How much will I make? I cannot give you the exact amount you make per day, but I am sure that with hundred dollars you can make thousands of dollars with it. And to prove that to you, I've done this calculation once. Let's say my trading account is $100. And I want to be taking profit at 0 0.5. And then I will be setting my stop loss at 0 0.4, for instance. And I want to carry out like 100 trade. 100 trade is not in a day. 100 trade is not, even in one month, some people cannot trade 100 times. But I am just saying, if at the end of a month, at the end of three months, at the end of one year, you are able to carry with that hundred dollar you have on your account, you are able to carry out one hundred trade, you know, one hundred successful trade, whether you lose or you win. But our win rate here, I normally use seventy percent based on the strategies that I have implemented. Even if I'm using sixty percent, then my leverage will be, for instance, let me just use twenty years because of new who are here. Normally it's 50 years, 75 years, and the rest. Let me use 50, uh, um, 20 years. And I want to do this with uh, Bybit because this is one of the exchanges I use in trading features. I want to do this with Bybit. If I go ahead and calculate this and run this strategy, um, sorry, this has expired. Let me refresh the page. So once again, 100, our take profit will be at 0.5. And then our stop loss will be 0 0.4. You can, it could be 1%, it could be whatever your, you want. You can go ahead and set this. And then our take leverage will be 20x leverage. And we are using, the exchange we are using is buy bid. We have $100, we want to trade up to 100 trees. And if I go ahead and run this strategy, you will see here that um, with 100 trees, I can, if I, I take 100 trades, even if it is in the day that I run this 100 trades, 
And my win rate, let me change this to 70%, is what I normally use, which I'm sure of. So if I trade, if my win rate is 70%, meaning that this out of this 100 trade, I lost 30 of them, and 70 are the ones that I, I won. With 20 years leverage trading this on Bybit, it means that I won 70 of this trade, and then I lost 30 of this. This is my one trade. This is what I, I lost, and then this is what I pay at C. So it means that I would have grown $100 to about, what is this, $1,163 if I am able to carry up 100 successful trades. You could trade like two times a day, three times a day. If it is four times a day, it means that your 100 trade would have been in 30 days. So this is a very simple strategy. It's not something, it is not a rocket science. It means that you must be actively involved there if you must make this amount of money. What if I use 50 X leverage and then I won 50, 70 trade and I lost um, 30 trade? I would have grown $100 to about $8,000. But remember once again that you might have carried that 100 trade so that somebody will not say, ah, you say you can grow $100 to, you might have carried that 100 successful trade. And out of this 100 trade, you will win 70 and you might, you might have lost 30. In most cases, you wouldn't even lose 30. Maybe you lost 10 trades out of the 100 and you won 90. So if that be the case, you, you are making more money. <laughs> so if you don't win, if you don't lose any trade at all, if you don't lose any trade at all, you won 100 of those, you would have grown $100 to about $40,000. It is very possible. All is required, all that you need is, you know, to be consistent and master a particular strategy and just have it at the back of your mind that I will lose a trade, I will win a trade. I will lose a trade, I will win a trade. That is how it is. If I make it 50%, let's say you lose 50 and you win 50, uh, you would have lost your $100 at once. So it must be, the win rate must be, always be higher than the, the one you are losing. So 60 will still be okay. And no, 70 is from 70 upward as well. With the 50 years, yeah, 70 upward will make you profit. But with 20 years, even if it is 60 percent win rate, it will still make profit. With 20 years, if I make this 60 percent win rate, you will still make profit with it. So that is all I have for you guys this evening. How long does it take for a trade in terms of time, please? Well, it depends on the time frame you are the time the time frame you are trading with. For instance. This is um, my trading view on a five minutes time frame. On a five minutes time frame. So you can calculate uh, each candle here represent five minutes. So if I've opened a long position here, it means that it would have taken me 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, depending on when my take profit is. If my take profit is somewhere like 0 0.4, it would be somewhere around there. Meaning that in 20 minutes, in 30 minutes, I would have been in profit. So if you set your take profit somewhere high around there, it means that you have taken the 50 minutes to you know, make profit in that market. So it all depends on where your take profit is and the time frame you are using. So in five, 10 minutes, you will make profit. You know, in 20 minutes, you make profit. In one hour, you make profit. In a day, you can make profit in the market. It all depends on the time frame you are using and then your take profit ratio. So I hope Anthony will got that question the explanation there, right? Hello? Yeah, right. I was saying, we can decide to focus on features and decide not to do sports. We can make it a choice, right? It is left to you. Whether you want to do sports, you do all of them gives you money. So it all depends on what you want. But what I will let you know is that features is risky. You can blow off your account in one night. Not even one night, in one minute. In fact, in one second, you can blow off your account because some of you, when you hear that, oh, you can grow $100 to $10,000, you are very excited, you want to do features, and because of that, you want to be aggressive in the market. My dear, you cannot be aggressive in the market. If you're aggressive in the market, the market remove you out aggressively. You understand? So if you blindfold yourself and enter the market, the market will equally pull you out blindly. It's as simple as that. Features is good. Learn how to do it. Have a strategy. You know, use one of these two indicators and learn how to do this right. If you do it right, believe me, 
you will be making a lot of activities. All right, thanks. So to be on the safe side, for instance, if I have $1,000 of my spot trading with a board, no matter what it costs, and then I have $1,000 of my fissures, if I blow off the $1,000 on my fusion, I'm sure that I still have $1,000 on my spot account. That is just it. I may not have it in USDT, but I may have it in the value of that coin that the board is currently trading. Meaning that if the market reverses in the future or wherever the position is, I'll be making profit from that board. That is the reason why we, you know, when you come in here, you don't put your egg in one basket. Features is that you are actively involved. Features is active income. Using board to trade um, spot is passive income. So there are two different things here. If I'm trading futures, I must be actively involved. I must analyze my chart, know where to enter and when to exit the market. I have to be here. It is not something I will do with board. I have to be here. This is active participation. So trading futures is active income. Why trading with board is passive income. So there are two different things. If you want to make passive income, you go with the board. If you want to make both passive and active income, Go with the board and then go with uh, fishers trading it yourself. So yes, you can get the board trading fishers. Let's make the other go. Well, it's, 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 it's possible. Okay. I want to say it's possible that with the, with the spot trade, your, your, your trade can go very, very deep. That it might take like a couple of months to come back. So okay. when you for trading, most especially when you don't have money to cover the deal, don't expect that you don't make money in my life. Somebody has used $100 and made $20 in a day. It's possible. Somebody has used $100 and $1,000 and the person is still stuck in the trade today. So it is, um, whenever it goes sideways, you, but if it is fishers, if it goes like that, you are just losing money from it. So that is just the difference. One thing I want you to understand here, you still have the asset, the other way you are not having the asset. But this other way is faster, you can make money, money and you will enjoy the, the system. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, please ask your question before I end the meeting. Just unmute yourself and ask your questions if you want to. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, uh, good evening, everyone. Um, so I'm interested in that your trading setting strategy is really to really help us with the uh, the new bids. That's all what I have, sir. Okay. Okay. I've heard you we'll work on that. Uh, no, no, no. This this one I'm even using here. I'm seeing a buying opportunity. I can learn the market from here. That it's 42,900. I can love the market and then take profit at 43. Yeah, so this is a, a, a signal I'm seeing right here. Basically, what I see here, you see that this is showing green here, and then I'm having this candle uh, that is pulling up from here, trading. And then this, uh, I have two EMAs here one is 200, which is this one, and then the other one is uh, 50. So, whenever this 50 is above the 200, I look for a buy. Position. So I can go ahead and use the market order to enter this market. Actually, pulling up very fast. 20x leverage, use 10%. And take profit now. Take profit at 13. 13. This, I will make $8 from this. That is from using 10%. Assess stop loss at 12%. So use market order. So it's to be five percent at least. It's to be ten percent. This may take profit. Let's see this trade. Let me use ten percent. I'm not sure of the market here. So what I should do is take profit at 31, 200. Yeah. I can enter this trade and I'm sure that this will go in my favor. So the summary here is that I'm entering, you know, with the market price, the last price, it cost me 83. If it goes in my favor, 
at 4300 and we post it at 4300 that is my stop loss right now that's basically so now that i've placed this trade this is where you see all those reverse stop you see all of this thing showing up on the chat on the chat here this is where we enter this market this is where our stop loss is so here if i let me adjust that stop loss let me come down here and adjust that stop loss let me edit the stop loss. Start, let me say for two seven hundred. So if I come in here, here I can cancel the order. Then here you see these two arrow pointing up where it says reverse positions. I can just go ahead and click on it to reverse this position immediately. And that is if the price is going against me. Now it's a, a long position I open. If it's not going against me. I can just use this two arrow to open, reverse this position. It closes this first trade and then open a new one as a short position for me. But let's see how this trade plays out. If he enters here, I'll be making profit of about $11, $11 right? Yeah, $11, and that would be, that would be something for me for today. At least I, I closed my previous trade very early. So uh, we'll look at this indicator maybe in the next meeting. I'll, I'll teach you how to use this three indicators and maybe set another indicator so yes, we we'll look at that, but not now. Uh, take a uh, we'll state uh, more than one hour in this meeting. So any other question? Yes, John, I will teach these uh, strategies of how to use it to spot when to enter the market and when to exit. Maybe in our next meeting. Any any other question? Any other question? All right. If there is no other question, thank you guys for making it out here. Our next meeting will be on Monday. Uh, I think 6 p.m. will be good for us. So we'll try to make that meeting at 6 p.m. again so that a lot of you will join. 6 p.m. or 6 30. So just have that at the back of your mind. And if you are in this platform, if you are on my on my WhatsApp group, on the Telegram group, and you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. I want to hit 10,000 before the end of this month. Can you help me achieve that? I want to hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of this month. If I hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of this month, I'm going to do giveaway. So the giveaway will be on the Zoom meeting and that I will announce it. the first person to join the Zoom meeting will get the giveaway. So, but just help me share my content. If you gain value from all that I've been doing, I need to equally grow that platform as well, the YouTube platform. Um, you know, if you see my videos, even if you don't watch to the end, just give me a like, leave a comment, you know, just to encourage me. It is not easy oh, making videos, editing the videos, rendering it and uploading it. It is not easy, actually. There's no easy way to make money anywhere. Oh. <laughs> There's no easy way, way to make money anywhere. And I will only give that opportunity to those of you in this meeting. If you have, those of you who want to go into um, tra trainings and the rest, um, I, I believe some of you are doing it that already. Now, this website is meant for you. You can create any course at all. All you just need is let me know. We'll get you on board. We'll teach you how to where to upload your courses, how to get your videos, you know, uh, private, um, you know, log them somewhere and then list them here for sale. You can start promoting it. Whatever you want to sell them, put the price, sell them, and you know, the money comes to you and stuff like that. So you can use this platform instead of going to use platform like Tishable and you will pay monthly subscription uh, uh, and you know stuff like that. You can use here to teach. Uh, your courses and you sell them and be making money as well. So if you want to do that, go ahead and do that. Take advantage of that as well. So if there is no question, I think we should just call it today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, money yeah, All right. Thank you. And see you guys on Monday, same time. Um, I will end this video and see you Monday. Thank you. For those of you. So do Thank have you. a wonderful day and bye. Thank you, Lee.